In a prior video, I shared details on how to detect the presence of stormwater in remote channels. The video included a demonstration of using a particle boron, which is essentially a cell phone integrated with a microcontroller, for detecting the presence or absence of water using a float switch, and then reporting that condition to the Internet of Things, as well as to your cell phone via an SMS text. Here's a clip from the associated demonstration. Hey folks, so um, gone ahead and set up the uh, 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 the boron with a sketch that is polling the state of that switch every 30 seconds and posting data to the Adafruit IO platform. I've got an ADEQ alum dashboard as you can see here. Um, when I pour some water and I get that float to uh, trigger the switch, I should get a text on my cell phone and I should see a green indicator light come on on the Adafruit IO um, dashboard. Let's see what happens. So depending on when that uh, switch triggered, Take a few seconds. And you can see that a light just came on on the boron. Looks like I'm getting notified of a text and the dashboard light turned green on Adafruit. So the system is working. In prior videos, I've also shared details on how to integrate a weather station with an Arduino. In response, some viewers like this one have requested further details on how to integrate SMS texting with weather monitoring hardware. Detecting and reporting rain isn't really that different from reporting flow, so to help with these kinds of questions, I'll be posting documentation to my website on how to do this. Details were originally developed as part of a continuous improvement exploration of remote environmental monitoring for my employer and to ensure institutional knowledge isn't lost within my agency as I prepare for new opportunities. This demonstration could also be helpful for sister agencies like Arizona Game and Fish that have demonstrated interest in remote monitoring of stock tanks used by wildlife, or the general public wanting to explore this venue for commercial reasons. Over the next couple minutes, I'll share a few highlights so you can decide if this reference would be useful for your own purposes. First, in order to make all this work using the approach I've outlined, you'll need to set up a free account on the Adafruit IO platform. You'll also need a Particle IO Boron or Argon modem to take environmental data and post it to the Internet of Things, either over cellular or Wi-Fi networks. And you'll also need a Twilio account to enable texting of environmental conditions to your cell phone through the use of webhooks. In the documentation that I'm sharing, you'll see reference to these elements captured in this process flow map broken out into respective modules. The first module explains how to configure an Adafruit IO account for hosting web data specific to creating a dashboard that logs the presence or absence of flow in a wash. For those who aren't familiar with Adafruit IO, this is a free Internet of Things service that has the capability of logging data from remote environmental monitors and presenting that data in a visually appealing format via live feeds. Overall, I found it to be much more intuitive and significantly more affordable than alternatives like ThingSpeak, at least for commercial applications. The next module summarizes purchasing and registering a particle boron modem on the Particle I.O. platform. A particle boron modem is essentially a cellular-enabled microcontroller that you can hook up to sensors or weather monitoring data for communicating data remotely to the Adafruit I.O. platform via open source libraries. You can also build one of these to work on Wi-Fi networks using a particle argon, which eliminates associated cellular charges. But if you need to use cellular, the fees are quite reasonable through particle. Now, if you're interested in building a weatherproof enclosure like this one that can host your modem, I've prepared this summary, which goes into respective details, which you can find in the description of this video. The next module discusses using webhooks to facilitate sending text data to your cell phone. In order to do this, you'll need to set up an account with Twilio that allows messages to be texted 
from a phone number registered and hosted by that service. Of course, there is a fee for using Twilio structured around mass marketing, but given the very limited amount of data and text you will be using for environmental monitoring, the cost will be relatively inexpensive. When combined with Particle I.O., Twilio will also allow us to incorporate webhooks into our model, which frees us from having to rely on third-party intermediaries such as Zapier for texting field conditions from our remote environmental monitors. The next module discusses how to code your particle boron or argon using free libraries and sample code provided by Adafruit. This can all be done directly using online IDEs offered by the particle ecosystem coupled with libraries developed by Adafruit. Finally, I share details on how to build and incorporate a water sensor into your remote environmental monitor. This is fairly easy to do and is also demonstrated in the prior video I mentioned on remote flow monitoring. Before concluding, I want to acknowledge the generous educational contributions and Creative Commons work supported by Adafruit upon which these tools are based. I came into all this knowing next to nothing about electronics, and Adafruit has always been there to answer my questions and guide me in the right direction. These references were developed on my own time, so just as Adafruit has done, I'm similarly licensing their use under Creative Commons license for use by the general public. I also want to acknowledge the support of my employer, the Arizona Department of Environmental Quality, who purchased hardware and subscriptions to facilitate associated experiments and tests. If you decide to use these references, please don't forget to acknowledge ADEQ as having helped if or when you launch your own public or private ventures. Hope this helps with your projects. Check the description of this video for further details, and please subscribe for updates. Thanks.